Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners, my name is Tiffin Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion which is classification 2. Uh, today we are going to discuss class A's which is one of the classes in the phylum Codata. Uh, class A's we have the various types of birds. G we have chicken, we have ostrich, we have kiwi, etc. So we're going to look at the characteristics in this particular uh, class and one of them is that uh, birds, they have feathers for flight, that is flying, and insulation against heat loss. So the feathers help in flight, at the same time they help insulate the body against heat loss. In other words, to minimize heat loss. They have four limbs whereby the hind limbs are modified for walking and swimming. So the birds walk with their feet and also swim with their feet. Four limbs are modified for flight. The four limbs where the uh, feathers are attached, uh, they are modified for flight. As we have seen that uh, the feathers are for flight and insulation against heat loss. Hind limbs, that's the legs, are covered with scales. The hind limbs are covered uh, with scales. So these are features that are uh, generally uh, visible Um, the sternum, that is the bone between the rib cage, the sternum is modified to form a keel which provides a surface for attachment of flight muscles. So the sternum is the bone at the center. On either side we have the rib cage, uh, but we have the sternum in between, which is the breast bone, and it's modified uh, to form a keel which provide the surface for the attachment of the flight muscles.
birds are endothermic, also known as homoeothermic, meaning that uh, their body temperature does not depend on the temperature of the surroundings. So unlike the reptiles, the fish, and the amphibians, which were ectothermic, which were poikilothermic, whose body temperature was depending on the surroundings. But for the case of the birds, they are endothermic. Their body temperature is dependent on internal mechanisms, internal physiological mechanisms. So their body temperature is not dependent on the temperature of the surroundings. They have a four-chambered heart. They have a four-chambered heart. That is two atria and two ventricles. Two atria and two ventricles. They have a closed circulatory system, just like the others. They also have a near drum. With they have a near drum and external auditory canal. So the eardrum and the external ear canal. They have an external uh, auditory canal, but they don't have the external ear or they don't have the pinna. In terms of their fertilization, fertilization is internal Fertilization is internal and they lay eggs protected by a hard outer shell. So fertilization occurs internally after which they lay eggs that are protected by a hard outer shell. This is unlike what we saw in the case of amphibians and the pieces, whereby the fertilization was external. And also you can mention that they are both aquatic and terrestrial. We have those birds that we find on land and we have others that we find in the water. So as an assignment, uh, the assignment Uh, state four distinguishing features of class Aves. Four features that are used to distinguish class Aves from the other classes. And number two, state three differences between class Aves and class Reptilia that we saw earlier. So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music>